All right, 56 screws right there. Two more pieces to go. We're not gonna bore you guys to death with this. Uh, all right, we got the rest of the metal on the roof. Uh, I think it turned out pretty good for old used metal. And uh, we have a bunch more of them short ones. Julie's got one. We're gonna go right across that back wall because we don't have to cut any of them. We need seven of them. And there's enough to go right to, through there. So we're gonna go ahead and put those up. I'm going to say all of these are exactly the same height, I think. Probably should have went on the inside, maybe just take it out. You need me to move? No.
vacuum amps. Okay, so we got the the roof finished up and we're we got this wall all done but a small piece we're not going to put this piece on until later we'll see if we got a piece of scrap or something we can put in this corner but normally your building really don't gain its strength until you start putting something on the outside of it that's why a lot of times you'll see people put plywood in the corners when they're building the frame uh, like walls and stuff they'll do plywood in the corner like one sheet and that kind of just strike strengthens it up well this metal this is where we're going to get our strength to hold that roof up so we're going to go ahead and finish nailing this out we got the two center rows got to do one on the top one on the bottom Alright, I got some weird lighting here, so it's a little bit dark, but we got the whole back wall done and we got half the other half of the roof done, which I think is a pretty good day for it being after work. I think we did okay. So we do have some more scrap metal left, and we're gonna try to get at least one more side done with this metal if we can. I don't know if we can or not, but we'll see. This is all the scrap metal that we have left uh, to put on the sides. I think it looks like there's a lot more there than what there really is. But I'm going to try to get one more side out of that metal. I don't know. If you guys have any old metal, I need a few feet of it. So. <laughs> no. that, this is what we got to work with. Well, yesterday was a bit of a hot day. It was actually pretty hot. Um, I did go last night and got some more pieces of metal for one of the sides. I don't know if it'll do it all, but it'll be a nice little chunk. We got some four and a half foot pieces, and I got one five foot piece. I'll show them to you. That's the stuff we got to work with there. I don't know what all we'll get done with it. And then I just got this pal here. There's about... Um, I think there's eight sheets in here. There's eight of them. Uh, seven of them are four and a half foot and one of them is uh, five foot. So we're gonna get to measuring and uh, my camera is actually going dead right now. So I'm gonna throw the camera on charge, see if I can find another battery and uh, get started on this. So we got our bottom pieces on. These are four and a half feet tall. So we ended up putting a board here. I don't know why I spaced these the way I did, but it works. 
Uh, so we got four uh, pieces here, and now we're, I'm just holding them up there, letting Julie mark them. Then I take them over there and cut them. And I know it's going to have a kind of a jaggedy seam down here, but don't forget, just tractor shed. <laughs> the only way it's going to see it is us. <laughs> Now, once we got it marked there, we just trace it off that two before, and I'll go over and give it a cut. You just gotta kind of push in on that bottom right there. See, make sure that's up even with that thing. It's good. You got it. Yeah. I can let go and get yeah, it I got screw. It. I got we've been doing it we just put it up there Julie marks it I cut it we put it up pretty simple and like I said this was a shed we didn't want to put a lot of money into it's just to park the tractors in it's not a big deal as long as it's good and strong that's all we care So what we done is we went and picked up some scratch and dent metal. Uh, we got it a little bit cheaper than what it would be if it was, and it's different colors. We don't care. We're going to end up painting the building anyhow. So uh, we're working on this side right now, Julie and I, right there. And we have one more piece to do right behind Julie there on that side. And I think we got a piece of scrap for that. So uh, we're going to have this thing boxed in today.
Well, it's starting to rain, so we're going to try to get inside the shed and finish up this piece here. And we got one over there to finish up. Okay, it's starting to rain, but we did get the sides all finished, the back's done, the roof is done. Uh, now we're going to. I have the roof coat, and I don't. I have about twenty dollars in the roof coat, so. Uh, I'm gonna figure out what total I have in this building. And, and you know what, for just, you know, trying to put it together, I think we did pretty good. As you see, we put the tractor in there and I tilt that back in a little bit. It keeps it out of the rain uh, from the top. But I'm actually gonna build a three foot piece that'll come out this way a little bit. So it'll cover up a little better, uh, be a little bit longer. But you can see the sides are all pieced on. Uh, but hey. We're gonna go in and figure out the price, what I have in it finished up to this point, and then uh, how much more we might have to put into it. I don't think it's gonna be a lot, but I think we did pretty daggone good. I really honestly do. The back turned out pretty good. I mean, uh, there's a space at the top up here. You can see the space. We're just gonna paint that up there. And we want the air to flow through it, so. So that's what we got. It's an 18, well, it's 16 by 20. Let's go over here and check out the roof. 16 by 20. That's what it looks like. 16 by 20 tractor shed. So I'm gonna go tally up what we got in it. 
Okay, I wanted to fill you guys in on how much I have in this uh, tractor shed so far, up to date. Um, the shed is 20 by 16. It's 16 feet deep and 20 foot wide. Now, I had to go in there and figure out exactly what I spent on this shed because I want to know myself. You know, the, the thing was, I didn't want to pay very much. I wanted to try to keep the cost down as low as I can. And I'm the type of person, I get around a good bit. I know a lot of people and, uh, you know, it's just known a lot of people. So we got, uh, most of the metal uh, was free. But now there's about four or five sheets somewhere up on that roof I paid $10 for. And then this metal here, as you guys know, we just picked it up and I had to pay for that. And uh, that was that was $129 for that wall there. Now we got a lot cheaper than what it would have cost if we'd have bought real metal now, or good metal. This was the scratch and dent pal. I think they gave it to me for two dollars and fifty some cents a foot. Now if you guys have been buying metal, you know that's still a lot of money for metal too. The two dollars and fifty nine cents. But it's like three fifty nine a foot now. So I got it like a dollar cheaper on the foot. So we saved on there. Now, the 2 by 6 rafters, all the 2 by 6s you see up on that roof, uh, I bought them off a buddy of mine for like 100 bucks. Uh, the most uh, expensive thing we bought was the, the uh, 4x4s. I wanted pressure treated 4x4s, so those were the most expensive things. Uh, I think there was a few across the back, they were a little shorter at $47. And then these here were $69 for the 12-footers. So, um, let's see. What else did we get? Oh, we bought some 1x4s. You remember in the video where he said, Hey, I got a deal on them 1x4s. That was 51 bucks. we got on those. Which was good. But there was three of them boards. I paid $10 and something a piece. But the damaged ones, I was able to get for $2 a piece. Which, don't forget, if you're at Lowe's or you're at these stores and you see something damaged and you can still use it, ask them for that deal. Hey, will you cut me a break on this? And uh, about 90% of the time they'll say, yeah, because they know they can't sell it. Nobody's buying damaged lumber. If you're buying damaged lumber, then you're not going to pay full price for it. So, let's see. We bought some concrete for in the holes. That was $28. Um... I bought some tar for the roof. Now, the I bought some roofing cement. And I want to go over them screws that we put in there that don't have any wood underneath them. I want to go over them a little bit to make sure they don't leak. Um, and that's about it. So our total is 512 bucks. We got a 16 by 20 tractor shed for $512. Uh, I don't think you're going to buy very much for $512. I don't even think you could buy the metal for the roof for $512 if you bought it all. Not dent, scratch, but you bought real good metal. So, I think we're doing pretty good. We're not completely done with the shed yet. I have to do some work on this beam up here, and I also have a winch that we're going to mount in the center of there. So then when we want to process a deer, I'll have a place to hang a deer in there. It will be pretty nice keep us out of the weather. Eventually, I'm gonna build a little bit of a, maybe two foot off the front coming out. It'll come in an angle like this down on this side. I'd like to be able to, as you see how I got the tractor set in there. I got the tractor set in there, but I turned the backhoe a little bit sideways because it's not quite deep enough. But if we put a little bit of an overhang over there, I think it's gonna be fine. It's under the shed now, it's working. We're going to be building a shelf in there, and then in the, on the back wall, we're going to put a shelf, which I have the wood for already. And then on the other side, hanging off that side over there, we're going to build a small roof over there, and we're going to be able to take wood from the sawmill, and we're going to be able to stack it in there. That's a big thing. We have a lot of wood that needs to go through the sawmill, but I have no place to put it. So I think if we build a little roof over there and build us some kind of shelving, to be able to put the wood on, I think that's going to work out the best for us. So, as of right now, we got a working 
uh, tractor shed. I don't think we're going to have any issues with it. Um, there might be another beam I want to put across the middle from 4x4 to 4x4. And uh, I, I don't know if I have the lumber for that, but I think I got someone I can get that lumber off of at a really, really good price. So, tractor shed, 512 bucks. That's a cheap tractor shed. We will buy probably two gallon of paint, a couple gallon of paint. Julie will paint the outside of it. I do have a, uh, a roofing cement, uh, not a cement, it's like a trailer roof coat. Being that that metal's all different colors, it kind of looks, it don't look good. And the road is above there, so you can see that roof. I'm gonna tr coat that with that trailer roof coat. I have 15 gallons in there. I had uh, got years and years ago. Um, and I got it for like 20 bucks. So it was three damaged buckets of uh, roofing, roof coat, and we're gonna coat that roof. That'll seal it up nice and tight so we won't have to worry about any water after using the roofing cement. But it's not done yet, but I did wanna get you up to date on what we have in the shed right now. That's pretty good. So I would like to tell everyone, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Until next time.